Born and raised in Rome, Ricardo Calafiori began his career in AS Roma's youth program, owning his abilities as a potential left back prospect. Calafiori suffered a serious injury to his knee early in his career, but he overcame it because of his perseverance and diligence. 2020 saw him make his professional debut for AS Roma and he soon established his value with performances that were mature for his young age. This is Ricardo Calafiori's analysis. Calafiori was loaned to Genoa in January 2022 because he needed regular first team action. During his time with the team, he demonstrated his physical and tactical prowess and acquired invaluable experience in Serie A. The summer of 2022 saw Ricardo Calafiori move to FC Brazil, beginning an exciting new chapter in his career. The young Italian defender demonstrated his versatility as a strong defender, had an attacking threat down the left wing, as well as his ability to rapidly adjust to different situations. Iko Royem, the manager of Brazil, saw to Calafiori's advancement. Calafiori was in the perfect setting for his abilities and gets important international experience thanks to the strategies and his faith in the development of young players. As he established himself as a consistent starter and an important part of Brazil's offensive at the center phase, his contributions to the squad were noticeable right away. He finished the 2022 20 season with two goals and five assists. Unexpectedly, he also made 19 goal completions. His play on defense was excellent. In a few games, he won 111 duels, 24 year old duels, each tackle, 140 ball coverings, and 38 interceptions. Several clubs took notice of the performances, and on the conclusion of his loan journey, he returned to Roma. Kanapiori returned to Serie A in the summer of 2023, joining as Iago Mota, Balis, Bologna, Kanafiori was a left sided player in a three man defense on the motors. His physical presence was great. He was tall, robust, and skilled at reading the game. Even under duress, he maintained his composure and calmness for a play defense. He was an excellent defender, but the skill of the ball was what really set him apart. Calafiori demonstrated a wide variety of passing methods and possessed a great range of passing. As a result, he completed around 1,600 passes, made 17 opportunities, and assisted him on 76 12 balls. He could take on players in his own half and dribble through them with his strength and speed. He also possessed excellent ball movement skills. As a result, he completed 13 dribbles during the season. He's a pity up of what a modern day defender should be, a flawless cross between a uh, midfielder, wingback, and a centre back. Telefonori has been a reliable player for Colonga and he demonstrated this against AS Roma. The game's 14th minute saw Telefonori advance the ball down the left channel and play a lovely chip to his teammate, who responded with an incredible overhead kick. Zuxi, scored their second goal in the 45th minute to cap off an excellent attack. Xerxi sets up Solomakis for the game-winning Hongjans goal, and as known, follows the ball into goal to give Roma a point back. Calafiori had an excellent game. He created two opportunities, made five head and normal appearances, and recovered the ball four times. In the final victory over Solomakis, he demonstrated this class once again, by playing a superb long ball, Rossellini, on the night. He scored a spectacular goal to put Bologna ahead. The season's most, most memorable match for Calipolori was the 3 3 draw with Juventus. Earlier on in the contest, Bologna won a corner. Due to Juve's two mishandled attempts, clearly being just corner, the ball ended up landing to Calipolori in the middle of the box. In the second minute, he scored his first goal of the season by slotting it into the top net. To give Bologna a very free. In all time, Castro's header and Urbanski's assist from the left wing cross increased Bologna's lead. Telefon only forced and won the ball in the other team's half in the 53rd minute. He kept moving forward, putting the ball at his feet inside the defensive line. Finishing like a striker, he chips the ball to the right corner, evading the goal. 
even though he had a fantastic game, Brazil was disappointed because he did manage a late comeback to tie the game. Bologna qualified for the Champions League for that season and finished fifth in the league thanks in large part to Ricardo Calipari. Calipari stated, I love defending, but I also enjoy pushing forward and helping in attack. When asked about his goals and side of play, I constantly work to get better and offer the team whatever support I can. Calipari is a gifted young player with boundless potential. He's a great asset for the team because of his ability to read the game, outstanding defense, and offensive skills. How many thoughts on Calipari below? Cheers.